bird's nests are a BZ. And the primary reason people get bird's nests when they're sewing is because they're threading their machine wrong. So I have this thread here and I'm going to thread the machine, but I'll tell you the issue. It's threading while the foot is down. Big no-no because in here, you have your tension knob in here, and this goes for every machine, it can be anywhere else, uh, is your tension discs. And when you have your foot down, your tension discs are closed. Therefore, when you're threading your thread, it's not getting in between the tension discs and putting the pressure, the, uh, the appropriate tension on the thread. Therefore, when you're sewing, you're gonna get mad bird nests because the tension is all wacky. So the proper way to do it is to lift up your foot, make sure your tension discs are open, and then once you're done threading, drop your foot and you're ready to sew. But I'll show you just so you have a deeper understanding of what I'm talking about. So the foot's down, I'm going to thread the machine just like I would any other time. Now I've got my thread in, I'm gonna pop in my material and start sewing. Boom. Ah. No bueno, pull it out. I didn't even get to a bird's nest, but I did get to this that um, definitely would turn into a bird's nest. I mean, it's kind of birdie. So if you happen to thread the machine with the foot down, all you have to do is lift it up, hold where the thread is coming off the cone, hold tight from both directions. That is going to seat your thread into the tension discs, drop it down. And your gold. No tension is issues. Another thing I want to point out is when you're lifting your foot up to pull your work out, make sure this needle bar, this piece right here, you want it to be all the way at the top. And if it's at the top, your needle is going to be in the top position. That way you can pull your work out, lifting this up, no issues, both all your threads are gonna slide out smoothly. If this bar is not all the way up and it's halfway down and you try to pull out your work, it might get stuck, you might battle it, you might end up snipping it really short to get it out. But all you have to do is make sure that needle bar is up, pull it on out. Now you know you have a jam or an issue if your needle bar is all the way up and you try to pull it out and it's not working, it's likely because your tension was an issue you get that bird's nest. You know that you're gonna see a bird's nest when you flip it over. It's the worst, but that's when you're either gonna A, have to pull really hard to break the thread. I don't recommend. You probably bend your needle, bend all sorts of stuff. Although your needle's probably jacked up anyways. Get a little pair of snips. Get in there. A little precision snip, snip fest. Pull it out. You're gonna to have to untangle all sorts of stuff, all sorts of thread that's uh, kind of in your bottom. And then, uh, yeah, you're good to go. Sewing 101, hope that helped.